For as long as humanity has gazed into the night sky, we've tried to unravel its mysteries. We built models, wrote equations, and convinced ourselves that the universe would obey the rules we carefully laid out. But what happens when the cosmos begins to break those very rules, right before our eyes? That is exactly what is happening now. The James Webb Space Telescope, the most powerful window into the universe ever built, is sending back not only breathtaking images but unsettling truths. These aren't small corrections to existing theories. They are seismic shocks. Objects that should not exist are suddenly appearing in Webb's data. Stars older and brighter than expected. Moons within our own solar system hiding the ingredients for life. Exoplanets once considered Earth's twins proving to be barren and dead. And colossal cosmic structures forming so early in the universe that they defy every timeline we thought we understood. What Webb is revealing forces is to confront the possibility that we've been fundamentally wrong about the history of the cosmos, wrong about how stars are born, wrong about the rhythm of galaxy formation, and perhaps even wrong about the very shape and scale of reality itself. This isn't science fiction. It's what a $10 billion telescope, floating a million miles from Earth, is showing us in real time. And if these discoveries hold true, then physics as we know it is not simply incomplete. It may need to be rewritten from the ground up. Take the star Arendelle, for example. It shines from more than 28 billion light years away, from a time when the universe was barely 900 million years old. Its very detection is an improbable feat made possible only because a rare alignment of galaxies acted as a natural lens, magnifying its light thousands of times over. But what Webb found was even more surprising. Arendelle is not one of the mythical population three stars, the very first stars made purely of hydrogen and helium, that astronomers have long been searching for. Instead, it contains heavier elements. This means that other stars had already been born, lived, and died before Arendelle, enriching space with metals in record time. That single fact completely rewrites our timeline for the first generations of stars. In theory, we should still be hunting for the earliest ones. Yet here is Arendelle, massive, blazing at 16,000 Kelvin, millions of times brighter than the sun, and filled with elements that shouldn't exist that early. If we can see Arendelle, why are the true first stars missing? Were they hidden, destroyed, or perhaps never existed the way we thought? But Webb's shocks aren't confined to distant galaxies. Some of the most astonishing discoveries are unfolding in our own solar system. Saturn's icy moon Enceladus has long intrigued scientists with its towering plumes of water vapor jetting from cracks in its frozen crust. Yet when Webb trained its instruments on those geysers, it found more than water. Inside the icy spray were the six elements essential for life, carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, phosphorus, and sulfur. Even more astonishing was the detection of phosphates, a molecule critical to DNA and energy transfer in cells. This means the hidden ocean beneath Enceladus is not just liquid water. It is a chemical soup with all the ingredients for biology. Suddenly, Mars, long the favorite in the search for life, has been overshadowed. NASA is already reshaping its priorities, pushing for missions that could dive through Enceladus's ice to explore its alien ocean directly. The implications are staggering. If life exists beneath that frozen crust, it would prove that biology can arise in multiple places within a single solar system. And if it can happen here, it could be happening everywhere. Not all discoveries inspire hope. Some serve as stark warnings. When the TRAPPIST-1 system was first revealed, with seven rocky planets orbiting a small, cool star, it was hailed as a dream come true. Three of those worlds lay in the so-called habitable zone, sparking visions of alien oceans and thriving biospheres. But Webb's instruments have delivered a sobering truth. The two innermost planets have no substantial atmospheres. Without that shield, they are blasted by deadly radiation, stripped of water, and left barren. TRAPPIST-1c, once thought to be a prime candidate for habitability, has disappointed as well. No atmosphere. No protection. No life. The revelation is more than a setback, it's a reality check. 
If even the most promising Earth-sized planets in the habitable zone are lifeless, then perhaps true Earth-like worlds are vanishingly rare. And that makes our own place in the cosmos far more special than we ever dared believe. Webb has also given us an unprecedented glimpse into the hidden scaffolding of the universe itself, the cosmic web. In one deep field observation, it revealed a filament over three million light years long, connecting galaxies like pearls on a strand. But within that structure lurked something far more shocking, a fully formed supermassive black hole, nine million times the mass of the sun, existing just 830 million years after the Big Bang. According to every model we have, that should be impossible. Black holes are supposed to start small and grow slowly, over billions of years. Yet here is one, colossal and ancient, appearing almost instantly in cosmic history. Did black holes form through processes we don't yet understand? Were some simply born massive? Or is our timeline of the universe fundamentally flawed? Exoplanets have brought their own mysteries. Webb's observations of worlds like WASP-39b and K-218b have uncovered chemical cocktails that defy explanation. Carbon dioxide, water vapor, methane, even hydrogen sulfide, all present, but in bizarre ratios. In some planets, methane is strangely scarce, in others, it's far too abundant. No known geological process can account for these discrepancies. On Earth, such chemical imbalances are the fingerprints of biology, life itself rewriting the atmosphere. While scientists stop short of declaring proof, the possibility is there. Webb may have given us the first indirect evidence of alien metabolisms, or else revealed entirely new planetary processes that we've never seen before. Either outcome demands a radical rethinking of planetary science. Perhaps most unsettling of all are Webb's glimpses of the early universe. Instead of chaos, it found order. Spiral galaxies with elegant arms. Elliptical giants. Stable clusters bound by gravity, structures that should not have existed so early after the Big Bang. The cosmos was supposed to be messy and violent in its youth. Instead, it looks organized, almost intentional, as if guided by hidden rules we have yet to uncover. Could the universe be following a deeper blueprint? one embedded in the fabric of space-time itself? Even stranger, Webb is detecting more light from deep space than theory allows, objects shining from beyond the cosmic horizon. By all logic, we should not be able to see them. Could this mean the expansion of the universe is slowing? Or has the cosmos already reached its maximum size and begun to contract? More radical still, have we misunderstood the very way light travels across space? Whatever the answer, one truth is clear. The universe is not behaving like the neat, predictable system we once believed it to be. In the end, Webb's greatest revelation may not be about stars, galaxies, or black holes. It is about us. Every image it sends back reminds us of our fragility and the arrogance of believing we've figured it all out. The universe doesn't exist to fit our equations. It will continue to shock us, to break our models, and to humble us every time we look deeper. Maybe our current understanding is just one chapter in a much larger story. A story of cycles we've never witnessed, laws we've never imagined, and purposes we may not yet be capable of comprehending. So, we are left with a question. Are we entering a new era of science, or standing on the edge of a revelation so vast it could redefine humanity's place in the cosmos forever? What Webb has shown us is that the universe is not empty darkness. It is alive with surprises.